Welcome to our channel. Enjoy listening to the audiobook. Write your feedback in the comments. Grace Hawthorne, Make Possibilities Happen. How to Transform Ideas into Reality. A Stanford D School Guide. In a world where it's easy to feel stuck in place, we can all use an inspiring wake-up call. Oftentimes, we limit ourselves subconsciously based on what we determine to be realistic or attainable. But when we drastically expand our perspective, exciting things can happen. Achieving even our wildest dreams is possible if only we can envision and commit to the required incremental steps. While the destination may seem impossibly out of reach, the path comes into view through directed intention and perseverance, provides the stimulating mindset shift you need to see and pursue all that could be. You'll walk away ignited with big-picture excitement and small-step strategy. You can't achieve what you can't see. We tell our kids you can be anything and then hand them standardized tests asking them to cross in one answer. Is it any wonder innovation stagnates? To turn possibilities into realities, we must reawaken the creative capacity lying dormant within us. Venturing beyond ingrained limitations takes courage but reveals unimagined horizons. When we consciously examine our mindsets, we can override the primal programming that stifles innovation. Our brains evolved to avoid risk, sliding into habitual ruts that discourage visionary thinking. We absorb biased assumptions that distort our worldview, filtering reality through limitations instilled since childhood. Breaking free requires intention and follow-through. This is where visualization comes in. Take a dream of yours and clearly envision the desired outcome, articulating the purpose and goals underpinning it. Hold this vision firmly in focus, no matter how improbable it may seem. Our thoughts generate energy that can drive action or sap momentum. If you approach endeavors with dread, you'll fritter away that power procrastinating. But by intentionally reframing your mindset, you ignite motivation. Revisit your visualization frequently as projects evolve. See setbacks as feedback revealing needed course corrections, not defeats. Experiment with possibilities and watch for unexpected opportunities that arise. Maintain agency by investing energy proactively, rather than worrying over uncontrollable variables. To further fuel innovation, cultivate curiosity and flexibility. This helps push past barriers when expertise falls short. Asking, I don't know, builds resilience, sparking creative breakthroughs. Explore what captivates your imagination without judging viability. Be willing to question preconceived constraints. Also, surround yourself with supportive communities who can spot blind spots you miss alone. Our individual perceptions get distorted by bias, meaning we don't objectively analyze situations. Collaborate to expand collective wisdom. What limiting beliefs could be lifted to uncover new potential? By consciously training your focus, you amplify purposeful vision. Our eyes perceive only a fraction of what's visible in our surroundings. We then, further, filter what we see through assumptions carried since childhood that narrow our perspective. By intentionally directing your gaze and your thoughts, you uncover previously unseen possibilities. It's important to remember that progress requires moving beyond comfortable terrain into uncharted spaces that will inevitably bring difficulties. But beyond those difficulties lies the potential for something that will expand your world. With consistent practice, deliberate shifts become easier as the unfamiliar turns routine. Trust that expanding your vision will widen your possibilities and the range of what you can do. 
How you finish depends on how you start. The start of a project is more than just the beginning. It's the pivotal turning point where a concept transitions toward reality. It's where impossibility goes to die. Now, contemplating ideas is easy. It's executing them that's hard. So, to make possibilities happen, wanting must be replaced with working. We've discussed visualization as a tool to propel dreams into action. But exactly what you visualize is crucial. Ensure you are working toward a vision rather than expectations. Expectations breed attachment to specific outcomes, which leads to frustration when reality diverges. This laser focus on particular results can cause you to miss emerging opportunities. So shift your gaze away from specifics to your grander vision. Remember, it's the process and experiences that provide meaning, not just crossing the finish line. The time to start is now, even if it doesn't feel like the perfect moment. So many promising ideas are abandoned simply because conditions seem inadequate. Maybe it's because the kids aren't in school yet, or because things are too hectic at work. But deferring dreams to some idealized future means that they stay dreams. So plunge into the doing. Waiting breeds wanting, whereas action energizes momentum. Starting now accelerates progress exponentially. Of course, real world constraints do affect timing. For instance, you may feel your next step hinges on finishing a degree. Rather than idling, emulate those who've already reached that milestone. Acting as if unlocks possibilities that passive waiting doesn't. You can also explore totally unrelated angles, letting cross pollination stimulate creativity. Similarly, don't wait for the perfect expert advisor before moving ahead. Speak with others at the top of their field, knock on atypical doors, and map alternative pathways to the information you need. Now, as you dive into the doing of your project, you will inevitably come across fear. We humans have evolved a fair bit of risk aversion. We're so wired to choose certainty, we'll even pick a sure loss over uncertain gain. So, how do you short circuit this anxiety induced paralysis? The trick is to redirect attention away from unproductive worry unless actual safety is at stake. When fearful thoughts arise, purposefully shift your mindset rather than reacting instinctively. If needed, take a pause so you can respond thoughtfully and not by reflex. Understanding that discomfort is normal inoculates you against its debilitating effects over time. The more you courageously lean into the unknown, the less power fear wields. And the more purposefully you can march toward your vision. Actualize, actualize, actualize. First things first, everyone has ideas, not everyone makes them happen. Execution is what separates realized visions from common pipe dreams. Economists talk a lot about the theory of supply and demand. The lower the supply, The greater the value of the good, and vice versa. Ideas are a classic case of high supply, low value. Everyone has a great idea or two floating around in their heads. What's in short supply is people who follow through on their ideas and bring them to fruition. Value creation begins with action. Doing is alchemy that transforms ideas into action. So, you've got a concept. It needs a form. It's like clay on the potter's wheel, which a skilled ceramicist can turn into a vase. Now, if you've ever seen a potter at work, you'll know that this form emerges slowly over time. There are lots of adjustments to be made. And sometimes the whole process needs to return to the beginning until the perfect form is found. So, 
Take your concept and consistently move it forward through small steps that compound over time. Target not current reality, but your envisioned future. That is, where you see yourself headed. Market to next-gen customers, not just established buyers. Existing conditions don't need to limit progress if you relentlessly work around roadblocks. Because if you can't go through doors, then scan for windows. Momentum builds incrementally, like climbing rungs on a ladder. Each phase lays the foundation for the next. Major gains come through steady incremental effort, not overnight transformations. Of course, there's a limit to what any one person can do. So recruit support beyond your personal bandwidth. Hand off tasks to specialized assistants so that doing everything solo doesn't starve potential growth. How you approach mundane details reflects how you'll handle larger complex initiatives. Give full mental presence to every task, resisting the urge to cut corners, assuming you'll fix things later. And channel friction creatively so that you avoid limiting assumptions. See conflict as an invitation to explore underneath surface perceptions. Tension builds strength when handled appropriately, and failure offers critical feedback, revealing what not to repeat next round. Fail small, fail early, fail often, learning as you go. In the end, consistent forward action is what converts ideas into reality. Small steps compound over time to transform vision into executable initiatives ready to deliver value. The path from fantasy to fruition is within your reach. The Fine Art of Finishing How do you definitely know when something's baked and ready to take out of the oven? Depends what you're making. Cookies get golden brown edges, souffles puff up tall, Bread sounds hollow when tapped. Each creation follows its own perfect formula. The same goes for reaching the finish line on personal projects. After doing it long enough, you start getting a feel for when things are fully cooked. Say you've had an idea for a novel that's been percolating for years. You build momentum chapter by chapter till one day the final sentence lands emphatically you sit back, read the 150 pages start to finish, and get goosebumps. Whether it now becomes a bestseller or gets tucked into a drawer, inwardly something clicks. Yes, I finished. Kudos to me. Other times, after lots of effort and work, you lose steam and your inspiration runs dry. In these cases, Pushing leads to frustration and not fulfillment. Stepping back, you admit that, if you're honest, that puppet show script you've been working on just doesn't want to come together anymore. Time to gracefully move on. You might also encounter cases of diminishing returns, where added effort yields less and less benefit. Say you've finally detailed your business plan, hitting all logistical details, only to start obsessively triple-checking Excel charts, which drains you without improving much. Dropping dicey details to focus on the biggest prizes helps maintain momentum. Now, whatever big prize you're working toward, it's important to measure against your own yardstick for success. Fulfilling personal goals outweighs meeting others' external metrics. If brainstorming 100 house renovation ideas felt wonderfully worthwhile for its own sake, own that win. And make sure you let each effort build skills for whatever arises next. Maybe your renovation visions fade, but now you feel more equipped to manifest dreams in 3D using online tools. Think win versus learn, not win versus lose. Also notice when an area of focus starts feeling stale, triggering restlessness and urges to move on. We all have natural project life cycles. Just like varied seasons, certain endeavors align better at different times. 
pay attention to cycles by jotting feelings over weeks and months. Are you itching for something new, or does your project still captivate you? There's no universal right answer, just authentic check-ins to understand your evolving relationship with key pursuits. As you get more versed in taking on and finishing projects, stay weary of the enemy that is perfectionism. It's easy to stay stuck striving for elusive perfection that doesn't exist. Remember the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your output ultimately comes from only 20% of your efforts. So work to identify which 20% of your efforts are generating those impressive results. Then focus on them aggressively. Push hard through the initial steep progress curve, then consciously shift from perfectionist to pragmatist. Declare things good enough, not because you gave up, but to conserve energy for the next worthy goal pulling your gaze. After all, the best part of finishing is getting to repeat the process all over again with a fresh new idea. Make Possibilities Happen by Grace Hawthorne is that in order to turn possibilities into realities, we must expand our vision by moving beyond ingrained limitations, consciously shifting our mindset, and taking action before we feel fully ready. Executing ideas requires incrementally moving forward through small, compounding steps rather than seeking overnight success. Knowing when a project feels complete comes with practice, and long-term success comes from realizing that consistent effort builds transferable skills to fuel further goals. Time to make your dreams a reality.